Hey everyone, it's Nikki. So this is a really going to be a really quick video for you here, but I'm into lambing season. And for those of you who haven't experienced a breech birth before, if you think that there's something wrong, um, you notice your yo is kind of acting off, uh, this is a very good indication of what you're going to see. So I had a yo drop a lamb. The lamb's about a half an hour old. I thought there might have been another one in there. So I threw a glove on and started digging. And in a second here, you'll see, um, I start pulling a little bit and you'll see what I'm seeing. That is the indication of a breech birth. Give me one second here. So if we look right here, uh, you can actually see that those little feet are turned upside down. And so, Sorry about the angle of this video. We're just gonna pull gently at a downwards angle. There we go. A nice, simple breech birth. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Let her do most of the work. You're just helping. There we go. And here's our lamb. I'm gonna clear that throat, clear the nose. My little guy. There we go. So what I'm doing is lifting that whole shoulder to help expand his lungs. Let him get a nice big lung full of air. And I know that this can be a really tricky thing for people that don't have the past experience of knowing what to look for. Kind of came down to a judgment call. Quite frankly, she could have popped that lamb out by herself. That's a big yo, and it's a good sized lamb, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely not something that would be um, too hard for her to push out herself. But it's 10.30 at night, and I'd rather have this little sweetie on the ground so that I know that um, there's no extra complications. <laughs> Again, this is Nikki with Sheep Tips with Chic Livestock. Happy New Year, everyone, and even better, happy lambing.